they discriminate against you based on your strengths and your former experience. Oh my god, tomorrow is Monday. I don't want to go to work. Guys, I want some hugging time. <laughs> For care. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lip Gang Spit It Out, powered by B2, top one English speaking app. Hello, xin chào. 大家好 Okay, guys. So today's videos, we're going to back with another tea time with Lip Gang. And in today's episode, well, do you guys have any idea what we are going to talk about? Uh, it has something to do with toxicity. Yeah, and do you guys like your workplace? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so yes, yes, but I, yeah. Okay, so the topic today is all about workplace toxicity. The reason why we come up with this uh, this idea because the viewers of our channels are mostly um, university students, and they really care about healthy and balanced workplace, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, that we work at the same company. However, we still have different opinions about what a toxic office would be like. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get started. Before getting into the main tricks, why are you doing? <laughs> Before getting into the main part, let's cheer. Okay. Cheers. Is it tear or tears? Cheers. 干杯，为我们的友情干杯。干杯。It's too hard to do. It's 干杯。So, in your opinion, how do you define a toxic workplace? Do you want to go first? I think that you have some really excellent ideas. Right? Okay, well then,、um, a toxic workplace for me would be a place where I cannot really get along with my colleague. Maybe they look at you, they still meet you and being like very cheerful, but deep down inside, they still talk bullshit about you. And to me, you know, my personal definition of a toxic workplace is. Um, a company that has reverse discrimination. For example, you are a very、uh, outstanding and experienced employee. When you do something, you、uh, the result is eight, which is really good. But you know, like your boss, your leaders, they will, you know, have some kind of mindset like you are very experienced, you are very、uh, excellent. So why is your result is only, only at, at eight. eight? But you know, they didn't. They don't look at the fact that that kind of result is still good. Yeah,、mm -hmm. they discriminate against you based on your strengths and your ex former experience,、mm -hmm. and I don't think that is a fair way to treat people with、uh, experience、mm -hmm. yeah. and expertise. Makes sense. Yeah. So how about you, Chris? Because、um, I know that、uh, before working <laughs> at the same company,、mm -hmm. you know, so you、uh, you used to suffer a lot from you know、like、the toxic city、mm -hmm. at workplace. So I used to work at a pretty famous. Corporation,、mm -hmm. the B company, but not this B, another B. At the office, everybody didn't talk to one another at all. They just come to the office and they、uh, did their job and then they left and that's it.、Mm -hmm. I like people in general, so I want to like have a connection, like build some relationship, so I can like share my feelings about the workplace and stuff. But they didn't really care, and even if they do, then they would like talk to me about this stuff, like. Talk bad about somebody with me, and then they will talk, talk bad about me with someone else. So it's like the backstabbing thing、yes. that you just mentioned. That was the first time that I encountered like a really toxic workplace. You know, it was a very bad experience for、yeah. having the very first you know,、yeah. full-time job.、Mm -hmm. So when I got to this B company, I was like, oh my god! So people are really this friendly. Like, do I have to? Worry about this because this is too good. <laughs> so I was afraid that it is going to, like, it's, it's going. Yeah,、mm -hmm. for the next. Yeah,、time. probably. <laughs> Guys, I want some hugging <laughs> for care. <Aww> okay. <laughs> okay. So we talk about like toxic city, right, in the workplace. So how do you think of like what a healthy, balanced workplace would be? I think that. Everyone will agree with me because we are living in the world where win-win is、mm -hmm. embraced.、Mm -hmm. So the more I contribute, the more I, I will, I should get, yeah, I should、yeah. receive. So that is the first one. And、mm -hmm. the second one is, of course,、um, the healthy and balanced workplace mostly depends on the coworkers. Yeah, and actually, sometimes you have to 
work for the company to know that it is toxic mm. or not. Mm. So you cannot select it at first. You just need to like stumble into that things mm. to know. It takes time. For me, I, I would consider myself pretty lucky because since I graduate, I got into some working environment which is pretty good, I guess. So actually, I would never consider them a toxic, but but I know how toxic. Workplace would be because I heard it a lot from my friends. They quit, then they change their jobs a lot. First of all, what you do should be recognized by your boss. Mm -hmm. It's just not that you do work in overtime. You try your best, but just like I know some boss, they just care about the result, not the process. And the second thing is that yeah, I I really consider the the environment because the colleague. I always say that even when I first do the interview. In in B two with the some of our lighters, and I got the questions from the lighters. They asked, "What keeps you here until now?" I just say that I do it because of the people in here. That I really love them, and I feel like we have something in the in common. So every day you go to work, and it's supposed to be a happy time when you spend with your friends. So how about you, Trix? All I can say is that.、Um, Sometimes when I hang out with my friends, I, I would say something like, "Oh my God, tomorrow is Monday. I don't want to go to work." But then I realized that. <laughs> Cap, okay, so thank you for、uh, okay. thank you for watching、yeah. okay, this episode.、But、this is I... also the very last episode of Tea Time with Lee. Thank you for your support. Bye. <laughs> right. But then I suddenly realized that actually it's not that bad. People say that a lot, so、mm-hmm. I just. Randomly say that, but it's not that bad to wake up in the morning and go to work because、mm. I know that immediately, like the moment that I step in the door, there will be people that I like, like behind that door, and like I, I can be like, "Hi, Jiang, Jiang Jing." Yeah, I'm like, "Hi, guy." This is something else. Just something just like that, right? Steph has just said that、um, uh, you can know whether a comment is toxic or not. Only after you work for the company,、mm-hmm. but I think that there might be some red flags. For example, like if the、uh, turnover rate of the company is too high, so that company must have a problem.、Mm-hmm. I used to work for another big company.、Mm-hmm. That company they only hire interns, and you know, like the number of interns in and out, in and out, you know, it's really fast,、mm-hmm. and no one wants to commit to that job. When I worked for that company, I. The reason is why, and also sometimes we can read the reviews of the company. Like、yeah. Now, now, now it has a lot of reviews,、mm. even like food reviews. But now we have company reviews, which、yeah. is toxic, red flags for that. And actually, the B company we are working is like、um, okay, so it is B two. <laughs> okay, yeah, it is.、B2. You said B two、okay. before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, B two. Well, actually, the environment we are working is pretty young, and have lots of people of our same age. So it's a lot. It's easier to to share things.、Mm. Well, people think that we are doing like some marketing for B two. If it's if it's if you think it's marketing is not is not. not. I believe that marketing exists in every aspects of life. We are the part of the product department. So basically, the P is is another P in the mar. Four P's of marketing, <laughs> like promotion, products, place, and person. Oh,、mm-hmm. mm-hmm. four P's. Four P's. Got the pizza. pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> okay, so now, as you have just mentioned about the environment that we are working in,、mm-hmm. is full of young people. So I just want to ask you guys: Have you guys ever heard of any stereotypes of young people, or should I say, Gen Z, Generation、mm-hmm. Z in general? I、have to suffer from. <laughs> I'm part of why that stereotype exists because I feel like I also like job jumping. Job, yeah, yeah. Job, yeah. Hop. Hop, job yeah. Hop a lot. That is one of the stereotypes, but that it does not you know apply for me. As I noticed, most of young people they like to job hop in order to gain more experience.、Mm. They take the job for granted because. It is the fact that there are a lot of opportunities outside, but you know I am different. I know that I don't have you know much time and much、um, opportunity, so I just want to、uh, commit to a job and bring some kind of value.、Um, I just want to say that I I don't think that all of you know、like、Gen Zers will be the same. You know they will be this Gen Zer and that Gen Zer. Yeah. Well, actually,、um, my friend just told me that she quit her job yesterday. Currently, she was working in the hospital, but working in a 
in hospital is just very harsh and people just keep on pushing each other and, and showing no respect at all. Mm -hmm. She's tried, she has worked there for like nearly a, a year, like maybe for half of a year, but but then she cannot take it anymore because she has some kind of conflict with her boss. Mm -hmm. But she's really loved the colleague, she really loved her partner, so she did ask me for advice whether she should quit it or not. Many of her co-workers said that she, she should keep on working because because Tate Holiday is coming, so a few more months would, would be worth trying. But I said that it is very difficult for you if you have a conflict with your boss, especially when you do not have the same minds anymore. So I even if you get through this, in the next time, I'm not sure that you can still be in the same place anymore. And it's just a matter of time. So I told her that sometimes um, if you feel like you're not suitable anymore, you should change because it is not just about the money of the Tate holiday so because you have the youth and you're still able to earn money mm -hmm. no matter what because yeah. you have the abilities. So that is what brings you the money in the future, not, not just the beneficial things right now. Mm -hmm. So I did, I did encourage her to quit the job and she did. If she's not recognized, but by her effort, well then, long-term working time is not worth it. Yeah, so, yeah. The bite to the problem is if you yeah. don't feel being recognized or as hustle, it kind of yeah. signals for a toxic workplace, mm -hmm. right? Um, back to um, our topic today is about toxicity in workplaces. So how do we keep ourselves naive, <laughs> carefree, and non-toxic? It's hard to tell, I mean, Maybe sometimes it's, it's about the personality. Mm -hmm. For example, I know that every place had its toxicity, but I just try to not care much about it. Even I know there is some drama. I, I still try to ignore it sometimes. Focus on your work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, I do judge people a lot, but I would just silently Secretly, judge them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because once you said something out loud, it becomes real. So mm -hmm. my my way to do it is I wouldn't say anything about it and keep it to myself. I mean, I, I lie to listen to that those dramas, but I wouldn't want to get involved. You don't want to be, you know, know too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I, I think that we shouldn't know too much. Yeah, or oh, even we do know, but we pretend it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we just pretend, like, pretend to be safe obviously and there's a fact that sometimes you are not wrong but you have to like pretend that you're wrong just to get through it if you're willing to some people you know like they do that to re remain this stability mm -hmm. and remain that kind of position so because you know something you have to i, I don't know I, I i don't encourage yeah. that kind of thing mm -hmm. and i i have never put myself down in order to satisfy someone because mm -hmm. I am a little bit straightforward. You respect yourself, right? I am a little bit exactly. straightforward, and if I don't like something, I will speak it out. Speak, spit it out. Mm. Sometimes rudely. But you know that being too straightforward, it is not good, right? Yeah, it's not totally good. But you know, after many years being exposed to the society, if you are truly talented, then no one can do anything. Yeah. But oh I my god, I, I felt the same. Because like people would treat you very differently if you show them that you are better than them at yeah. something. Mm. Be it physical or intellectual or anything. As long as you are better than them at something, they will respect you. Yeah. yeah. Because I used to be in that case when I was in high school. So I think that it applies in you know, every aspect, including you know, like workplaces. Okay, guys, so it should be the end of today's episode. Really? Yeah, we, we, we talked a lot and we did share our perspective towards a lot of things yeah so it's time okay so thank you guys so much for watching and if you like the videos don't forget to like and subscribe our youtube channels and also follow us on our social platforms once again thank yous and bye bye, bye.